Yes, you know who you are. You know that you're that person who swings too much with their arms. You don't have enough body involved in your golf swing. Today, I'm gonna to show you three keys to help you get that body working. Hi there everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Andrew Rice here on the Lesson Tee at the Western Savannah Harbor Resort. Golf Dodgers top 50 teacher, golf.com top 100, and currently the number one teacher, ranked teacher in the state of Georgia. Today I'm talking, let's get the body moving. Let's get that body involved into your golf swing. So a couple of things are going to happen. You're going to be able to get some more energy into the back of that golf ball. And I believe if we can get our body working better, we can also control the club face. We're going to hit it longer and if all goes according to plan, that much straighter as well. So where do we start? Where do we start? I know this, a golf swing I see all too often on this very lesson tee looks like this. And I'll show you the down the line version. It's it's that. And that golfer is someone who's been not taking care of their body, typically. They're somebody who's been working at a desk, they've had a career for their whole life, and now they're looking to play more golf, and that body is just not too happy to be moving. Now, I would love for everyone out there who struggles with this to go out and get into the gym and get a TPI evaluation and start working on their flexibility. That is no doubt going to help. However, I know that most of you are not going to do that and you're looking for something to start hitting the ball better right now. And so I've got three very simple keys. Each of them is going to incorporate a little bit of homework, a little bit of a drill to help you to start to take ownership of these three keys as you incorporate and upgrade that motion. Okay, so number one, number one, I find that, and I think it's from the 80s. In the 80s, we had the idea of, let's keep the flex in this trail leg, let's keep both feet flat on the ground. And so key number one is we're going to get the lead heel up off the ground. When I look at some video of Jack Nicklaus, some old school footage of Jack Nicklaus in his prime, it's amazing how that man would get loaded up and he'd get these legs working and he had those massive thighs and he would load up behind the ball and literally smash it. We're going to incorporate some of those ideas to free up the body and get that body moving. And so point number one is Let's work towards, instead of both shoes staying flat on the ground where we've got all those spikes touching the ground, I want us to work towards getting that lead heel and ultimately that knee and that hip. I want us to work towards getting loaded up into the backswing. We're going to free up that lead heel so we can really wind up into the backswing. Okay, that's how we're going to start to get, we're going to start from the ground up and incorporate a little bit of freedom to get the hips and the chest moving. We need to incorporate that body. And so starting from the bottom, we're going to go lead heel off the ground. That's going to allow that knee to work behind the golf ball. You're going to feel ankles, knees, hips that much more active. Okay, so point number one, lead heel up off the ground. That'll free things up for the rest of the body to start moving. Point number two, and it's very, point number one, very easy to do. Okay, we just need to be conscious and aware of it. I would love for you as the little drill that goes with point one. Point one is up to the top, pause it. I want that heel off the ground, okay? So we're gonna rehearse that, up, pause, heel off the ground. Now we're just gonna go slowly. Heel up and through. And you can see I'm not hitting that very hard, but I'm certainly got my brain pointed at my lead heel to make sure I'm going slowly enough, it's different enough to where I can get a feel for that lead heel starting to elevate. Okay, point number two, restrict, create some pressure, some torque between the upper body and the lower body. We're going to forego that information. I would love to see every golfer out there, should you wear a belt, I would love to see every golfer go, okay, if you're looking to incorporate more body, we've got to get the hips involved. And we've freed up that lead foot, which in turn is going to free up 
the hips and I want you to try to feel like we're going to allow this trail leg to straighten up some we're going to get those hips working around and I want as much hip turn as you can get I want you to feel like the belt buckle is going to be pointing way back there directly away from the target and so a great sense for this is to you can get yourself in front of a mirror or you can simply feel it but I want you to go okay if you had a laser beam growing out of your belt buckle pointing out of hopefully not growing out pointing out of your belt buckle as you wound back it's something that's going to point directly away from the target and so get yourself in front of a mirror or a video where you can see that and you can hear in my voice I'm getting a little torqued up here okay as I push that to the to the max and watch my trail leg it's going to it's not going to lock I don't want that trail leg getting dead straight but I do want it straightening from where it starts okay and so there we're going to do something very similar point number two let's get those hips massive pivot I want a big hip motion a big hip coil into the backswing the stretch part is coming the stretch part is coming lead heel up off the ground belt buckle all the way back away from the target I've added a feature here so up to the top rehearse that Andrew feel that now we're gonna go slowly a little low on the face but you get the idea I'm more looking for the motion the form than the function at this point I'm working technically point number three we're going to feel some stretch and the stretch I'm referring to is the one where you're going to feel some stretch across your back running from your lead shoulder to your trail hip and so as you wind back I would like for you to sense that the lead shoulder is going to create some stretch as it works behind the golf ball think about it we started from the ground we've got the feet lighter we've got the hips a little bit more active and we've got the chest stretching across that much better I know this if we can and I I see this all too often I see this every day this look to the golf swing where it's there and now the golfer if you've ever seen yourself at impact where you look like that there's no rotation I call it the one cheek impact the handles high the toes getting into the ground then you're not using your body enough you've got too much arms you're not getting the package the arms and the club deep enough at the top of the backswing and so here I'm going to ask you to, we're going to be quite deliberate here okay we're going to go all three this time so we're building up to it lead heel hips and stretch I want to feel that I want to hear the grunting I want to hear the grunting so rehearse it again and then we're going to hit it okay slow now slow go slow don't hit it full speed I know that's something I could benefit from in my golf swing because my swing much like I suspect yours has gotten shorter and shorter and shorter over the years as my body has grown lazy and tight I've had to rely more and more and more on my arms to complete my backswing we're going to work to get those get that body involved so three keys to summarize L allow the lead heel to come up off the ground get those hips to point that belt buckle to point away from the target and feel that stretch even if you've got to do this put that trail hand on the lead shoulder and pull it create that stretch so that you've got that torquey feel in your voice in your breathing as you wind up to the top and that's really what we're after okay I know this those three points are going to help you're going to get a bigger backswing which will allow you to exert more force on the golf club thus ramping up the speed you're going to hit it longer it's going to take a while to get accustomed to but here's the deal everybody technique is the name of the game you get your technique better you are going to hit better shots yes can we improve your equipment yes can we improve your mental outlook and the way you practice most certainly but if you want something that's going to turn your game on like that improve your technique improve your technique so I hope this helps I appreciate you tuning in
There you have it everybody, three keys that I know are going to help your golf game. They're going to allow you to incorporate that body that much more into what you're doing. More energy, more club face control, better shots, you're going to be happy with it. I know this, give that a try, stay patient with it, you will start to hit better golf shots. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you've got a friend who you know could benefit, please feel free to share it with them. Share it with everybody that you know that's got too much arms in their backswing, in their golf swing. Get that body involved. And there's a little notification bell on YouTube. That little bell, if you can click that bell, that way you'll be notified each and every time I post some new, hopefully enlightening information to help you play better golf. Thanks so much. I appreciate you subscribing. Stay tuned. We've got more coming.